Harris made her first foreign trip to Guatemala and Mexico to address the migrant crisis in the United States. But according to the Daily Mail, her visit was widely viewed as unsuccessful. Univision anchor Elia Calderon reportedly asked Harris multiple times when she would visit the border, but she fumbled her answer. Harris said, I've said I'm going to the border, and also, if we are going to deal with the problems at the border, we have to deal with the problems that cause people to go to the border, to flee to the border. So my first trip as vice president of the United States was to go, in terms of a foreign trip, to Guatemala, to be on the ground there to address and to be informed of the root causes why are the people of Guatemala leaving. Calderon was not satisfied and continued to press Harris. She asked, do you have a date for your trip to the border? Harris responded with, I will keep you posted. CNN caught wind of the exchange, and they want in on the posted part, too. The network already had issues with another of Harris's flippant statements regarding the border crisis. During an interview with NBC's Lester Holt, he asked about her absence at the southern border. Harris said, At some point, you know, we are going to the border. We've been to the border. So this whole, this whole, this whole thing about the border. We've been to the border. We've been to the border. Holt replied, you haven't been to the border. Harris then retorted, and I haven't been to Europe. I don't understand the point that you're making. CNN anchor Abby Phillip did understand the point Holt was making and took her to task. It's just a little cringeworthy, and I know that her allies in the White House and elsewhere are watching it and just kind of wondering what is going on. CNN's Laura Baron Lopez noted, it didn't go the way the White House wanted it to go. Again, immigration is a hot potato no one wants to touch. And Harris has been dealt it, so she has to handle now what Biden had to handle when he was VP, which is relationships with the Northern Triangle. Although Harris has received criticism for her visits to Guatemala and Mexico, CNN reports the vice president underwent media training to improve her delivery and presentation in interviews and speeches. A senior aide remained coy on details, but said it was a comprehensive session and not in response or preparation for a topic like the migrant crisis at the border. We've seen this before. Harris is criticized by her detractors, sometimes fairly and usually unfairly. And her instinct is to dig in, which in most instances only makes the situation worse. But it's not just her detractors. Another CNN insider said, To be clear, she was going to be asked this question. And the fact that they didn't have something better than I haven't been to Europe is fairly notable. Even though Harris spent a lot of time preparing for this trip, it seems she and her team still have a lot of work to do. She was even prepped for the question about visiting the border, but she still couldn't give a clear answer. A former aide seemed concerned with Harris's performance and said, Watching Kamala Harris walk this weird tightrope on the border gives me flashbacks of her not having an answer for Medicare for All or her position on busing. There's only so much staff can do to prepare her. At some point, she has to stop being scared of herself. Many political pundits are pointing out that the trip is also casting doubts on a possible run for president in 2024. Foreign trips and taking the lead on the migrant crisis should put her in the best position for a future election, but it seems like her trip may have ruined those chances. Although the vice president usually deals with difficult assignments to keep the president in a positive light, a former aide told Axios the criticism towards Harris can't be ignored. If you give someone a shitty assignment because the president doesn't want to do it himself, you can't be mad when the treacherous situation looks treacherous. Check out one of our newest videos right here, plus even more Nikki Swift videos about politics.